Liverpool announced that the upper tier of the Anfield Road stand will remain closed until 2024, forcing the team to play the rest of the season at a lower capacity. The slow pace of Liverpool's £80 million stadium renovation has left fans angry, and the revelation that the facility won't reopen until 2024 will only add to their frustration. The maximum capacity will remain at about 51,000. Up until the end of the year, Liverpool will welcome Nottingham Forest, Brentford, Fulham, Manchester United, Arsenal and Newcastle United, in addition to hosting Everton in a Merseyside derby. In September 2021, construction on the stand began with the intention of being finished in time for the 2023-24 campaign. The club earlier suffered a setback when it was revealed that the new tier would not be open for the team's first home game against Bournemouth on August 19th and that it would remain closed. Billy Hogan, the chief executive, said, When Buckingham Group filed for administration, that had an impact on people's livelihoods, people's jobs. I do want to make sure that we just remember that and mention it, and I do want to thank everybody who has worked on the project and all of those who are working on the project now. And I absolutely want to thank all of our supporters for their understanding and patience as we work to manage the situation, which, as I stated, has been tremendously difficult over the last few months. We'll have to keep things as they are for the rest of the year until we have visibility of all the necessary facts, he continued. In essence, this means that Anfield's seating capacity will be the same as it has been for the home games so far this season. Until the end of the calendar year, the lower tier of the stand shall remain open and the upper tier shall remain closed. Liverpool was left in turmoil when Buckingham Group filed for administration back in August. The group went into administration one month later. Plans for the upper tier to reopen in time for Liverpool's following game, the Merseyside Derby against Everton, were subsequently abandoned. According to the Times, the club will get in touch with game attendees who purchase tickets in that region. So Hogan said, going back a little bit, obviously, when we got the news back in mid-August, August 17th, when Buckingham effectively said it was their intention to formally go into administration, we had about three weeks during that period where no work could happen on the site and where we effectively had to wait until they formally went into administration. On September 4th, they entered under administration. In essence, we were working behind the scenes over that three-week period to attempt to handle as many various issues as the prospect of an administration would bring up. In order to begin the construction as soon as possible, after Buckingham did enter administration, we moved rapidly to choose Rayner Rowan Construction as the new contractor and a number of additional subcontractors. We began working on that on September 4th, and on September 5th, we were able to return to the location. Over the course of what's now been about five weeks, that process has essentially consisted of fully assessing where the construction program was at the time, and then also allowing Rainer Rowan to work with our internal teams and gather all of the relevant necessary information to make an informed decision around what would be a revised project completion program says Rainer Rowan. According to Hogan, orders had been placed with subcontractors who have previously worked with the Buckingham Group from over 80% of the remaining work needed to complete the stand. Prior to the start of the season, Liverpool was actually given special permission by the Premier League to play their season opening match away from home in an effort to complete the project that will boost the ground's capacity to 61,000. However, given the new contractor and the early 2024 deadline, that proved to be unfeasible. We want to do our best to be as open and honest about this endeavour with the fans as we can, Hogan said.
the upper tier would eventually be open in some capacity for the Everton game, according to the schedule we had worked to and the schedule we had been told, which is ultimately why we went ahead with the ticket sales from the Everton match on. Maybe to go back a bit in July, at the time when we knew there would be an initial delay at the start of the season. That ultimately rested on the data that was made available to us at the time. The truth is, we're only now starting to get a clear understanding of the delays as they actually are.